Hello students. In the last video, we learned how to expand expressions like a outside of b plus c in brackets and write them as a times b plus a times c. In this video, we're going to go, we're going to turn it around and show you how to factorize. So expressions that have the form a b plus a c can be written as a outside of b plus c. So let's go ahead and practice factorizing by taking out common factors. So the secret to all of these is first you identify the highest common factor and you write that first and then you write down what's left inside the brackets. So let's do these three then I'll give you uh, three similar ones to try on your own. Okay start with the numbers highest common factor of 5 and 20. Well 5 is a factor of 20 so that's a common factor. And looking at the two terms there's no letter, no variable, that's a common factor. So the highest common factor is just 5. Now we have to say 5 times what gives us 5x? Answer is x. 5 times what gives us 20? And that's 5 times 4. So that's the factorized form for the first question. Okay, looking at the second one, well, there's no numbers that we have to take out as a common factor. Let's look at the y's. I got two y's there and one y there. So I can take one y out as a common factor. I can't take out two y's because this doesn't have two y's. In other words, y times y. So I take out a, a single y as a common factor. y times what gives me y squared? Well, y times y is y squared. And y times what gives me y? That has to be y times 1. Okay, and the last one has three terms, but it's no more complicated than the two above it. It just looks a bit longer. Looking at the numbers, I've got a 9, a 6, and a 3. Well, 3 is a common factor for all of those, because 3 is a factor of 9, 6, and 3. So I write the 3 on the outside as a common factor. Now, y is not a common factor, z is not a common factor, so the only common factor there is 3. Now, 3 times what gives us negative 9y? Well, 3 times negative 3 gives us negative 9, and the y stays. 3 times what gives us 6z? Well, that's 3 times 2z. And finally, 3 times what gives us 3, and the answer is 1. Let's do a quick check on all of these by working backwards. 5 times x is 5x. Five, 5 times 4 is 20. y times y is y squared minus y times 1 is y. So they check. 3 times negative 3y is negative 9y. 3 times negative 2z is, sorry, subtract 3 times 2z is subtracting 6z. And 3 times 1 is 3. So, so far, so good. Okay, you try these three, please. Okay, let's see how you went. Okay, we start by taking out the uh, highest numerical factor. Well, 6 is a factor of 18, so 6 is a common factor. And there's no variables that are common, so therefore 6 is the highest common factor. 6 times what gives us 6y? Answer is y. 6 times what gives us 18? That's 6 times 3. Quick check, 6 times y is 6y, plus 6 times 3, 18. And that checks. Okay, look at the second one. Well, there's no number other than 1 that's a common factor of these two terms. So let's look at the letters. So I got two d's multiplied together. I've got one d there. The highest common factor, therefore, is just d. And what's left behind? Well, d times what gives us 2d squared? We've got 2 times d minus d times what gives us d? That's d times 1 gives us d. Quick check. d times 2d is 2 times d times d, or 2d squared, minus d times 1 is just d. And you could, of course, have changed that to add the negative and that would then give you that. d times 2d is 2d squared plus, 
and d times negative 1 is negative d. So you can do that as a subtraction or add the negative. Okay, and the last one, we're looking at the three terms. We've got a negative 4, or sorry, a negative 4, 10, and 6. So 4 is not a factor of 10, but 2 is a common factor. So I'll write out the common factor of 2. None of the letters are common, so 2 is the highest common factor. And I'll put the subtraction and the addition in. 2 times what gives me negative 4w? Well, that's going to be 2 times negative 2w. 2 times what gives me 10y? Well, 2 times 5 is 10, so that's minus 5y. And 2 times what gives me 6? And the answer is 3. A quick check. 2 times negative 2w is negative 4w. Subtract. 2 times 5y is 10y, plus 2 times 3 is 6. And once again, if you change that to plus the negative, that would have been plus negative, and you get 2 times negative 5y is negative 10y. Okay, we'll stop this video there, and in the next video, we'll factorize some slightly more complicated um, expressions.